Hello and welcome to the first vlog of the new year and the first vlog in the new shop. So if you don't know already, I'm Sarah and this channel is Like So Amazing. And here is a new face that you're gonna be seeing a lot more of. This is Jenny who works in the shop and she's been part of my blog team um, for the last year. So her blog name is Give Us A 12, which is the best sewing pun ever. So I'm gonna hand you over to Jenny to give you a little intro. So I've been sewing pretty much all my life I would say. Started with making kids clothes, very little garment sewing for myself in my earlier years. Went into corsetry for a while, made a wedding dress for a friend a few years ago which traumatised me to the extent that I didn't sew for about three years. But this lady helped me to get my sojo back um, and now I'm absolutely in my element amongst all these lovely fabrics and I can't stop making. <laughs> Yeah, once we've um, once we actually got the shop finished, both of us have just been sewing up a storm, which has been really lovely because I think the pair of us sort of haven't been doing that much. Mm. Obviously, we've just been painting and decorating, but we're going to talk you through that a little bit more. So we're planning to do a lot more videos over the next few months. So we've got lots and lots of plans of things that we want to film and share with you. So this video is going to be just a little bit about how we actually got the shop up and running. So we've been open now for a month tomorrow. So it'll be four weeks tomorrow. But yeah, it's been going really, really well. So we know what it looks like now, but we're gonna show you what it looked like when we first got the keys um, and a little bit about how we did it up. And then we're gonna take you on a little tour around the shop as well. But yeah, I think we've got lots of ideas for things that we're gonna talk to you about. We're gonna do a tour of the local area because it's a really, really lovely street that we're on. It's a proper high street, so it's, we're not in the city centre, um, but it's a really lovely artisanal kind of... Yeah, and if you come down and visit us, street, there's yeah. so many good cafes and boutiques and pubs and loads of independent businesses to, to explore. So yeah, it's, a great, it's a great place to visit. Creative businesses yeah. as well, yeah. So, and, and what's lovely is there's definitely a market for sewing, for creative activity here. We've you know, so many people have come in saying it's just what the area needed, so we're really pleased with it. But yeah, we're gonna show you around the shop now. Hello, so here's Jenny and I. Hello. And it's the first day in the shop. We have just picked up the keys. So we've been in here measuring and trying to plan what's gonna happen. But yeah, it's looking really, really good and we're really excited. So we're off to B&Q now to pick up some supplies for cleaning. So, uh, yep, yeah, this is day one, and we'll kind of take you along on the renovation journey as we go. <laughs> um, we're in B and Q, just heading round, looking for decorating and cleaning things. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So this is how the front of the shop looked at the very start. This is what we moved into. It was pretty hideous. And then we had this wall of terror. So that was really hard to kind of get all of that paint stripped off, but we managed it. And then you can see it's just a blank canvas for us. So this is just how it looked, pretty grubby. So lots and lots of stuff to clear up. But yeah, good space to work with. And you can see here that we've marked out everything where the furniture and the fabric storage is gonna go. And then we move on into the studio space. So this is in the middle of the property. With Jenny running away. So this is how it looked. Again, pretty blank canvas. So we had to get all this decorated and cleaned. But yeah, this space wasn't actually too bad to work with.
Can I get out now? Yeah. Thank you. That was a weird Whoop. initiation. <laughs> So we start off at the window. This is our springtime window display. So Jenny's done a lovely job with the window. So we've got these beautiful flowers. Sorry, the sun's really low at the moment. So we've got a couple of dress forms in the window. So this is Doris, she's me. This is Gigi, this is Jenny. Um, and then we like to have some fresh flowers on display as well. So we've got some beautiful ones in at the moment. And just underneath here, we've got more fabric storage. So this was all custom built for us. It's got some nice ponties in there at the moment. And then a nice little mirror so people can, you know, um, so people can hold the fabric up to them and see if it suits them. So then we've got our wall of fabric here. So we start off with our lovely jerseys in this section. And then we move on to some more specialist fabrics. So we've got some embroidered cottons and some denims and some wool fabrics here. Then you can see the teddy bear fabric that's just come in. It's been really popular. The pink's gone, but we've still got some of the mustard and some of the camel left. And we've got some linens here and then we start moving into the cottons and some stretch cottons down here and some lining fabrics then we've got more of the quilting weight cottons and then we've got more drapey viscose crepe type fabrics here and there you can see our Kylie in the Machine labels on display Then we have our newer in jerseys here. So we tend to put them here so people see them straight away. And we've got lots of different jerseys, French terries and sweatshirt fabrics here. And then this is our custom built cutting table with recessed cutting mats. We absolutely love it. It's the perfect height for us to cut at and it's great for cutting out projects. And then here's Jenny behind the till. So we've got our little till station here and a really lovely display counter. You can see the lovely logo there. So we've got all sorts of haberdashery items here, buttons, elastics and cuffs. And then we've got this really handy table over here. So it means we can do a bit of sewing out the front as well. And then moving on round, this is one of the biggest talking points in the shop. This is our absolutely stunning phone. So yeah, lots of people comment on this when they come in. And it's standing next to our gorgeous Gutterman thread stand. We've got the Pink Coat Club pins and badges on the top. But yeah, love, love, love this Gutterman thread stand. We always get a little bit sad when any of them run out because it just ruins the display but we've got them all on order and then you can see the first pattern wall so we've got selkie patterns we've got grain line we've got so house seven and all the nina lee patterns and then this gorgeous piece of 
embroidery was done by the beautiful Kathy of So Dainty. She brought this along to our opening night and it's just beautiful. And then we have our big happy tower. So we've got all sorts on here. We've got Fiskar scissors, we've got old refrigerator cutters and then we've got lots and lots of prim haberdashery. And it's all starting to be uploaded online now so you can order a lot more happy from us. And we've got all the zips as well. And then here's some more fabric storage. This was custom built for us as well. So we can store all of the long rolls. And it's looking beautiful at the moment. Lots of bright spring colours. We've still got some of the wool fabrics and velvet fabrics as well though. But yeah, really pleased to have this looking at the moment. And then just through here, we've got another pattern wall. So we've got the Tilly and the Buttons patterns, closet case patterns, and we've got experimental space and true bias and victory patterns here. So here we are in the studio. So we've got all of the desks set up, ready to go. And we've got space for about nine people to sew in here. These two desks, this one and this one, they also come up to a higher level as well, so you can use them for cutting tables. So really love this space. It's really good to be able to sew out here. And you can see we've got our Husqvarna Opal 690Q machines. So these are very kindly on loan from Husqvarna. And yeah, we're loving using them out here. But it's a really, really great space to sew in. So we've already had a couple of sewing social sessions in here. And then out the back, we've got our kitchen and bathroom and store. So it's really important to us that our shop was accessible for all. So even though there's a step, we've got a removable ramp that we can just come and get if anyone needs wheelchair access to the shop. And then here's how the shop's looking from the outside. That's a quick rundown of what we've been up to over the last few months. We've been so busy getting this place up and running. Yeah. It's been a huge labour of love for us to get all this work done Definitely. to, you know, bring you a beautiful space to come and look at fabric and to come and sew with us. Yeah. I don't um, think either of us anticipated how much work it was going to be really. No, but and we, we've learnt yeah. so much as well. We <laughs> are sanding ninjas, you know, we yeah. can put up a shelf. We, yeah, we've learned so much and, and we're so grateful for all the help that we've had from, from friends and loved ones as well. Yeah, so. definitely. Yeah. yeah, so we can't say thank you enough to everybody. We've, you know, the launch night was lovely. I know that um, Keely from Voice of a Creative did a little video on the launch day just because she knew I was going to be way too busy to be getting a camera and out. emotional. So I can link that below for you. But yeah, really, really pleased with the space and long may it continue. So we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. So it's really important to us that our shop was accessible for all. So even though there's a step, we've got a removable ramp that we can just come and get if anyone needs wheelchair access to the shop. <laughs> Come on through that way. And then here's how the shop's looking from the outside.